So first, let's make a distinction between what owner's equity is and stockholder's equity. Most of the time, I refer to the equity section of the balance sheet as owner's equity, just from sheer habit. But there is a difference in the two. And let's look at those. So let's look at owner's equity. Owner's equity is specific to a sole proprietorship. And we can see here John Doe owns this business, and under owner's equity we have John Doe's capital account. And that is also the balance in our owner's equity section. So if you look at your T account for capital here, we know capital carries a normal credit balance because it is an equity account. Therefore, we have our beginning capital balance, if any, unless this is, the, this is a startup company, it would not have a beginning balance. Any net income earned by the business would make the capital count of the owner go up. Any additional investments that the owner makes would make his, capital, his or her capital account go up. And if the owner made any withdrawals, then that would make the capital account go down. And then leaving us with our ending balance in capital. So that's technically what an owner's equity section of a balance sheet would look like. It would have the capital account of the owner. A stockholder's equity section, we've talked about two things that show up. We've talked about common stock and we've talked about retained earnings. But now we can see that there's a little bit more involved. We have what's called a paid in capital section in the stockholder's equity section of the balance sheet. And under paid in capital, we have preferred stock and common stock, as well as paid in capital in excess of par, which we'll be discussing. Those three things together give us what's called total paid in capital. And then we add our retained earnings to that, and that will give us our total stockholders equity. So again, just note that there is a difference in what's called owner's equity versus stockholders equity. <music>